Are you finding it odd with uh, computers and laptops and uh, mobile phones lately? It's like they're making people sick. I don't know if it's really sickness per se, but uh, I've had so many people complaining that uh, if you stay uh, doing things on your computer for long, it's, it's like there's some waves of something which are making you feel agitated and depressed and uh, things like that. And uh, somehow I think I've felt the same, especially when I'm doing a lot of uh, research and reading and doing all that. I uh, It reaches a point when I feel it's like you're totally depressed and, and you ask yourself, what's really wrong? I was just okay a few minutes ago. But when I just got on my computer, uh, all of a sudden I, f I feel agitated. I feel uh, it's, it's like you want to punch the wall and things like that. And, and you ask yourself, why, why this kind of feeling? And I was even watching another brother uh, speaking about the same uh, on his, I think on, on BitChute or something like that. And he was saying that uh, most of these gadgets that we have, they're making people depressed. It's like there is something which is being released, some kind of waves or something, to get you into a depression of something or agitation of something. And it's like you feel headaches, it's like you feel uh, your body is not really functioning very well. And then could it be probably because the enemy just wants to make sure that you visit a hospital and when you visit a hospital you know what they're going to do to you the same old thing they're going to say oh the signs you have all the signs you have all the signs of this of this uh, falseful thing you understand what I'm talking about so I think you guys should be so careful and very watchful about this because it's something that you cannot really explain but um, lately when you look at the world it's like everything is after killing you is after finishing you up everything totally everything if now even what we have uh, to do our research our studies uh, that is a uh, <laughs> our laptops, our computers, our mobile phones, they also kind of feel uh, weird. When you're holding your computer, you feel weird. You feel, uh, I don't know what you're going to do because everything is after finishing you up. I think everything is just after taking your life. Think about this. Think about the food that we eat. A lot of junk, a lot of things, which uh, it's all about just making sure that you're, you're no more there. Look at the, the way people were healthy a couple of years back, like in the 70s and the 80s. You could uh, go to the beach and you find uh, people are really well. You, you could not see these fat, fat kind of people. I'm not saying being fat is bad, but I'm trying to explain that people were healthy back then. How comes... All of a sudden, everybody just has life issues left, right, and center. Could it be some of the foods that we eat? Also, I also heard the same thing about, uh, about water. If you're not careful with the water that you drink, then it's going to be a problem to you. You should be very careful of the kind of water you drink because even from the source, could it be that uh, something weird is being in the water that you drink? No wonder people are behaving weird and uh, things like that. I also was uh, doing a little bit of research. I had an issue with my teeth. Uh, like they were cracking down here. And... Um, I went to the dentist, uh, he went and then he checked my teeth and he told me just apply some sensodyne and that's it. And uh, But I, I, I brush twice in a day, morning and evening and like, what don't I do? And how comes people in the villages and other places, they don't have this issue with the teeth? And 
I got to understand something that uh, <laughs> do you know this thing called fluoride that uh, there's an issue because I used to use uh, Colgate and Aquafresh and uh, Close Up and all these kind of toothpastes and all the time I feel as if my teeth are not really clean and I feel issues and issues and until I sat down and studied I went on beatchute.com and uh, Rumble and just typed in there fluoride <laughs> effects oops you guy my guy you'll be you'll be shocked and from that day I avoid fluoride like plague and from that time, my teeth has been okay. So now, what am I trying to tell you? This world, everything in this world is after taking your life. Is after making sure that you don't exist anymore. If you look at the skies, have you ever seen a plane which goes up and uh, you see it's like it has some a cloud behind? Do you know what's usually that? Go do your research. Like I told you, everything in this world is after finishing you. It is only Jesus Christ who wants to give you life. Everything else wants to take your life. If you look at uh, situations like here in Africa, when people are building houses, instead of going through the normal, actual plan of how it's supposed to be, they approve the way so that uh, they can build houses which can last for long and uh, which cannot cause accidents. A lot of corruption. People are just uh, going and corrupting their way up as long as you have the money. You corrupt your way up and uh, you build whatever you want to build. And so many houses have been collapsing lately, killing people. And you ask, who really authorized this? Others are, are being built on the road reserves and things like that and you wonder why why the other day I went and bought some milk from just a, a milk store and uh, going to boil the milk <laughs> it turned out like it was pure just plastic and water and I wondered God gracious why is the milk turning like plastic? Do your math. Everything in this world is after finishing you up. It is only Jesus who wants to give you life. A, f a friend of mine some time back, uh, he bought some rice. And uh, after cooking the rice, it's is, is, is looking so fresh and so... <laughs> and then he decides, okay... After eating, you're full. Because most of the time he could buy the same rice and then they eat and you feel like your stomach is bulgy all the time. And he was wondering, what's really the problem? So one day he decided to do a small test with the rice that he had bought. And uh, just took a spoon and some few pieces, uh, pellets of rice and uh, burnt them with, uh, with the gas, you know just some little fire and a spoon and pellets of rice. Guess what? They all turned plastic. That's the world we're living in. That's the world we're living in. And if somebody tells you that uh, we're going to change this world by whichever thing, I think that person is lying to you. When they tell you, oh, if we have some good leaders, we have this and that, we're going to change the world. I think... The only thing which can change the world right now is only on a spiritual angle. You cannot change the world on a physical way. You cannot. You can only change the world from a spiritual angle. That's exactly, that's for sure. That's why the Bible tells us we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against powers and principalities and high places. I was reading Revelation chapter 9 and uh, reading about these locusts which are going to come from the 
bottomless pit. And I was just trying to do some comparison and seeing that this, this uh, whatever, they, they, they'll be having heads like men, hair like women, but they're scorpions. They have some very weird characteristics. And you wonder, this, this is not really a human, this is a hybrid of something. It has partly human, partly animal, partly this and that. Are you seeing what's really happening to the world and uh, how people lately are becoming animals? They are human beings, but they are animals. They kill mercilessly. They torture others mercilessly. They don't really care about their brothers or their sisters. They don't really care if uh, whatever goes, goes. And you ask yourself, are, these, are we dealing with human beings? Are we dealing with something else? Are you really dealing with human beings or something else? Because when you look at this, then uh, my friend, you, you have to wake up. It's about time that people woke up. People woke up. This is, uh, we are in a war, my friends. We are in a war. A pure war. Pure war. And it's not war with bullet and s bullets and guns, it's a spiritual war. Satan has also made sure that uh, if you, you're a Christian, he's going to frustrate you and frustrate you from your family, to your job place, to your friends, to your relatives, to every person who you meet with, they laugh at you and mock you and tell you, oh, you talk about the rapture, where is it now? Where is the promise of his coming? Others, they laugh at you and they tell you, don't you want to protect yourself? You think we are fools when you are protecting ourselves, blah, 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 blah. And you wonder and ask yourself, yes, Jesus, you said you're coming, but <laughs> how long, oh Lord? How long? How long? How long? Because if the world goes more uh, like this, uh, I don't know. The Bible says if those days were not shortened, no flesh would survive. Not even one flesh would survive. And I think we're in those times. That uh, unless God do, does something, then I don't know who is going to survive. If you will not get some shedding of this thing i hear there's a lot of shedding from the people who've taken the juice there's a lot of shedding shedding like it's uh, when you're close to them you start feeling weird you start feeling headaches you start feeling fevers and things like that and yeah it's there and now, remember, their family members, your sisters, your brothers, your mother, you can't stay away from them. And uh, you can't tell them, <laughs> don't come close to me because you're my brother, you're my sister, and what's going to happen? And uh, I know when, uh, when the towers are going to be put on, you know the towers I'm talking about, the five and then the G. When they're going to be put on, we're going to see a lot, a lot of people changing. Changing in a way that you cannot explain. Changing in a way that uh, is going to be so terrible. Some of them might be so weird to a point that you cannot explain. And just like the Bible said, uh, Jesus himself, he said, if you love me, keep my commandments, follow me, listen to me, deny yourself and follow me. That's exactly what he said. You love me, deny yourself, follow me. But then he also said, <laughs> a time is coming 
when you'll be hated for by all people for my name's sake. Your parents will forsake you, your brothers will forsake you, your sisters will forsake you. They will hate you, they will even send you to the authorities to be killed. That time is coming, and not even coming, it's almost here now. Because I really, really believe that when this tower is going to be opened, maybe in a couple of months, maybe, I don't know, when they switch it on, we're going to see terrible things. Because remember, what the, the juice that most people have, have that juice, it's an antenna. And if it's an antenna, then you understand what an antenna does. It, it, is, it sends waves. And if it sends waves, then uh, can you imagine having a <laughs> swallowing a mobile phone and uh, it's being called inside your stomach and uh, it's terrible my friends it's really terrible <laughs> what even made me do this video is because of that issue of uh, mobile phones and uh, laptops they are, they are kind of going against us they are kind of making people feel another way so even as you do your research give yourself some time to just uh, stay away from your computers your laptops and your mobile phones even as you go to sleep switch off the wi-fi be easy switch off some other things don't always sleep with your mobile phone on your uh, be below your pillow because I know that's what uh, Satan wants. He wants to make sure that uh, you have no brain left. Brothers and sisters, I just wanted to tell you about that and uh, to encourage you that just hold on. Jesus is coming. He's coming. He's purely coming. And he's promised us that he's coming. So don't you worry. Don't you uh, be wary of the... Uh, what is happening and don't you be worried in anything take heart and focus yeah that's all i can say god bless you